Hello family, my name is Moses Biata. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I today will be talking about the power of forgiveness, how to let go of grudges and find peace, the power of forgiveness and how to let go of grudges and find peace. Um, what inspired this um, topic for which I decided to even like shoot content on it was I was meditating and reflecting on an incident of a friend of mine who's married and he's been married for about four to five years and so um, for the sake of content wise I'm not going to mention their names but I'm going to talk about the experience and what I learned from it so um, apparently he and his wife are living peacefully they are good and his wife's ex shows up in the picture and I think that they start his wife starts having conversations with this said ex of his and um, somewhere along the line the wife professes that she still has some sort of feelings for him you know and later on my friend who I know happens to find out about that message or he saw it and he got a bit you know heartbroken and it sort of was affecting their union or their relationship and what should have been happening you know between them so um, I visited them and whilst I was there I noticed that you know there was tension I could feel it it was palpable and one thing I noticed was the fact that you could so tell that deeply seated inside of them that is my friend who is the husband man and the woman who is the wife deeply seated inside of them was that yearning to want to make up but everybody was sort of playing pride and ego and you know i looked at the situation seated aback and i asked my friend what was happening and so he told me the story that i just told you guys and i looked at the whole thing and i could so tell that the children or the child that is in them the child that is in them wanted to make up so bad the child that is in them wanted to settle everything amicably but the ego or the adult in them will not let them settle this matter amicably and i looked at the whole thing and i picked a couple of lessons from which i'll be talking about it today so that is what informed the power of forgiveness, how to deal with grudges and find inner peace, you understand? You see, forgiveness is the act of letting go of negative feelings for someone that has wronged you or towards someone who has wronged you. It's not necessarily about condoning their behavior or pretending that it didn't happen, no. So you are not condoning the behavior of the person or you are not pretending that it didn't happen. It's all about moving on and letting go of the resentment. So I remember having a conversation with this friend of mine and telling him that I think it's time to let go and settle things amicably. Say the things that need to be said. Address the behavior. Do not pretend that it did not happen when it is obvious that your wife is yearning for you and you are equally yearning for her. You want that companionship to be rekindled. But the adult in you is not permitting you to do that now holding on to grudges and resentment usually can be very emotionally draining because it would it would move you to the obscure part of yourself and so um things like anger bitterness and all of those things will just make you become you know a very terrible person and it's okay for you to understand that your emotions in itself are not bad god did not make your emotions that way your emotions are not bad at all your emotions are good. The thing is, what metric do you use in guiding your emotions? So, for instance, Mr. A is angry. And when he's angry, he picks up an iron and he smashes it. Or he picks up anything he can see and smashes it on the floor. Mr. B is angry. And whenever he's angry, he hits the gym to vent out on the, on the, on the metals so that he gains muscle. If I'm to tell you to choose between Mr. A and Mr. B, who is supposed to be your friend, I'm sure you go for Mr. B. The difference is that both of them had anger issues or both of them were angry, but the metric that guided what they used the anger for is very different. So emotions in itself is not bad. So it's okay to feel hurt as far as you are not condoning their behavior and you are not overlooking that it happened and you are willing 
to move on and let go, it's fine. You know, kindness says that I have the right to injure you, but I have suspended it. You know, kindness says that I have the right to injure you, but I have suspended it. So I told my friend, I said, bro, reality check is when you saw that message, you had every right to injure your wife, but you had every right to go hard. And by injury, I don't mean he had every right to go and beat her or something. No, I'm not, I'm not somebody that signs up for that. But he had every right to confront her, say all sorts of hateful things to, to her, but he didn't. He rather extended kindness to her by deciding not to talk about it. But it was that time, it was at that time that I told him that you have decided not to talk about it, but it's hurting you. And so it's time for you to address it as the issue and move on. So remember I said that kindness says, I have the right to injure you, but I have suspended it. Now, how do you practice forgiveness and how do you let go of grudges? How do you practice forgiveness and how do you let go of grudges? The first step to dealing with this, guys, is that you need to acknowledge your feelings. Every single thing starts first off with an acknowledgement. What you have not acknowledged, you cannot deal with it. So if somebody tells you that you are not consistent, for those of you in the international audience, it's a proverb that says that the guy that's dancing does not know that his back is crooked, which means that usually when you are charting a certain path, you are not able to tell the direction of the path. But if somebody is sitting somewhere and they are watching you chart that path, they're able to point out the wrongs and the, the pitfalls that are ahead of you. And that's how come in life and on your journey in life, feedback, positive, feedback is very, very, very important because you don't know it all, you are not perfect. So the first thing you need to do is to acknowledge the feelings. It's, um, it's important to acknowledge and validate what you feel. You understand? When you are angry or you are hurt, it's okay to validate that. That's the first step to dealing with a grudge and finding inner peace. And then you need to practice something that a lot of people in our generation do not do. It's called self-compassion. A lot of the times, young people have a lot of inner wounds and bitterness from experiences with guys, girls, all sorts of terrible experiences. You need to be kind to yourself first. And remember that everyone makes mistakes. You are probably the one that is at the winning end because the other person has wronged you. But the next time you could be on the other end because you have wronged someone. And so it's okay to make mistakes. You see, the only thing is that it's important that you extend the same compassion you expect others to extend to you, to others when they have fought it. And so it's very, very important. And then another thing that usually in settling and dealing with issues that pop up that does not allow you to forgive is that you fail to look at the other person's perspective. So you need to consider the other person's perspective. Try to understand where they are coming from. And you see, usually that thing is, if you're able to understand where they are coming from, it may probably explain what led to that behavior. It's very, very important. Now, this can put things in perspective and help you or help to make things easier in letting off go the grudges. So it's very, very important that you extend or you do that. Now, another thing that usually we see when it comes to forgiveness is the fact that there is usually the need that you need to be right. And this one usually comes with we the men, you know, the men usually want to prove that they are right, they are right, they are right. And so whether you go to heaven, you go to Pluto, you come to earth, you visit Satan in hell, they are right. It's, it's usually something that will affect you when you're supposed to learn to let go of a grudge and find inner peace. It's natural and it's always fine to want to defend yourself to prove that you are right. But sometimes it's not the way to always go. And so these are steps, these are practices that I do. These are things that I have implemented. It helps me in my life to, in dealing with different kinds of people because truth and reality on ground is that as you journey through life, you will meet all sorts of people. You will come across all kinds of people, different upbringings, different perspectives, different way of living. And some way, somehow, it is expected that these persons or these people may step on your toes or may falter. And so 
it's important that you learn to let go of the grudge so you can find inner peace. The beauty with forgiveness is that it actually brings you peace than it does more harm to you. It brings you greater peace than it does more harm to you. Remember, kindness says, I have the right to injure you, but I have suspended it, which means that whenever you find yourself in a situation with somebody and you feel like you're in a better position to come hard at them, extend some kindness to them, be the light of the world. Let them see some form of kindness in your eyes towards them. And in the end, I believe that we'll all build healthy relationships. Yesterday I made a tweet and somebody asked me, how do you build healthy relationships? How do you build non-sexual relationships for the long term? I should be doing a video on that, but for now, go out there. If you have wronged someone, if someone has wronged you, that you are holding that grudge in your heart, make sure that you are forgiving them today. You are forgiving them right now. Call them, check up on them, and let them know that whatever wrong they did you, you have forgiven them. I hope that you found value with this content. Subscribe and like and share. My name is Moses Biata. Thank you for sticking and staying.